I'm here and home in my nice big old bachelor pad. By the way, I heard an amazing division I've been supporting for years came home from Africa. Arriving safely, I wanted to be there, but you know, health comes first. And, uh, working on the arrival part next time around with a certain sibling of mine. Yeah. Ooh, it needs improvement on communication, just not while driving. God bless her, for a private. Wanted to say this to y'all. Not bad for five minutes of Picasso, huh? <clears throat> Raising a play at Emo Jima. God bless you, World War II, World War II veteran. Van Gogh can't have all the fun. God bless your families who sacrifice so much day and night. Just praying and hoping you get home safe. <clears throat> but I hit you hard. Supporting y'all and keeping y'all employed over there. Ain't that an amazing Picasso painting right there? Oh, in less than five minutes. Gee whiz, I think my son could do better. He's only seven. <clears throat> Carry on. Keep him around, division going, yeah. It's no easy job, but someone must care. By the way, that's also for you, darling, that those sinners can be who think they can do better. I hear there's a new wife application opening. That's not a rumor, it's true. It's been long overdue. So if you think you can do better, what's stopping you? That's what your relatives and and everybody else wants to ask you. Are you a big... Because I'm kind of watering. They'll probably give you that nice, big, long lecture. I'm not getting any younger sometime before my social security files. I'm starting to wonder how your beautiful things can be for a figure what's really going on. Hubba, hubba, hubba. By the way, I hear a certain company is beginning my prayers. I've been helping you guys since I was a child camping, which includes camping at all kinds of parks here in the USA. Do you know who these people are? God bless them. They've been as long, around as long as. You need to make these a little bigger for six foot people. Golly, they're getting smaller and smaller. You're not the kid in you, though. Nature Valley, that's right. A big support sponsor. Oh, sponsor. Y'all need to keep them doggy dollars of tax return income investments directed at this site, too. It help. Every bit helps keep these people employed. The sacrifices they make day and night, keeping my stuff secure and running. God bless them, all of you. All races, all cultures, all over the world. Who know karate, chop, kung fu, and everything else. Half the planet. God bless them. And everybody else who even goes Johnny McCormick style. CB radios the works when I come online. It's not for my help. It's because I care about all of you. Keep that in mind the next time you look at me face to face. God bless your kids and everybody else around the world. That's coming from a dad. A single dad. Right here in Elizabethtown who speaks all languages. And has God in him and tells it like it is. I don't hold back for nobody. Not even Martin Luther King. Well, it's just me right here. The next one. Oh, wait. I'm white, as I said before. Dolly Piketty. All in one. James Dean. Rock rules the world. Playboy. Sports Illustrated. Down to dying. Do drive by. I'm sorry if I'm not awake during the day. Again, I have to 
specific time in me. Bear with me, a few strong hearted best friends will tell you that to your face. He won't matter if there's a great egg goes off next day, he will wake up. No matter how hard I try, sometimes even going to church. He has Pacific in him, not just anybody else. Golly, I've been wanting to tell you that a long time ago. Which would explain why he won't wake up. You wouldn't wake up either if you were at a volleyball court with next to seeing some nice swimsuit down to those playing soccer or volleyball. I don't think he'd wake up either. However, April is next month, which is also important traditional here. People go to church. Easter Sunday, which is known as Palm Sunday on the calendars of Catholic Christianity. How many of y'all know that? Don't forget that date. Hello. Or you'll never hear the end of it with your relatives, especially those with grandkids. Remember what I said? Do spend time with your relatives and your grandkids, grandparents, because you never know when their time is off. That's coming from someone who went through that experience. I miss my grandparents for a grandmother OR nurse who raised four kids alone before she passed away for years. A family of nurses and military people, yeah? Marvelous. Live all out of state. No person here in this state is my sister, and she just got back from Africa. Recently, I'm told she was flagged, but that's okay. She's still here. She's soon to get out like everybody else. You can't stay in the military forever, and she's going to school. God bless her. Private Finley. Even though she's a Sarge, I call her private. I have that right of her brother. Dolly, you, don't you just feel the love? Much love, sis. And every other sister, junior out there, I don't do mercy with siblings. Especially my big old family in Washington. Guy keeps over there, sits in a big chair. He's not afraid to support small business, restaurants, everybody. Keep you all employed and make sure to watch you to understand don't budget cut too much without him saying something. That's why he sits in the big chair and is not afraid while listening to Elvis Presley and making sure someone hears his voice. The day I show up in Washington, I'll have two generals, if not more, in front of me because I know sooner or later they're going to cut a military installation to kingdom come and all the heck just to pay off the one trillion dollar deficit. I know it's coming. And we'll have to watch this on Star Wars sooner or later. Which big base will it be on the choppy block? Hmm. Let's all think together and make our bases more... Busy. How about that? What it says? Copy by empty buildings. That wouldn't look too good if someone came for an inspection, huh? Unannounced. Golly, something sinner. God bless Miss Hard as it work or some vice president who's watching this channel and likes me because I know exactly where to hit somebody upside the head who prevents budget cuts. Whoopsie daisies, that's not even after coffee or tea. There's some serious loyal Japanese friends over there. They speak English, Korean, also you Koreans very well and understand English very well. God bless you all over there. Uh, especially on that elephant in Mongolia, Tibet, China. Two beautiful ladies in China. Whoa. Hello. God bless you all. Much love. Italy, Portugal, London, royal family can't have all the fun. Hover, hover, hover. Why else would I be keeping Queen Diane's legacy alive to this day? Aww. God bless Miss Redheaded and everybody else. Fergie, her two kids, and everybody else in the family. I hear Camille and Prince Charles was here in Louisville. Don't you just feel the love? Now, if I was driving your plane, I would be saying something along the words, See, Mom, I think our, our, one of our engines just swallowed a plane. We might have to take a U-turn. There's a certain knight chivalry and armor. 
slash Care Bear that you did not visit yet. Maybe in prayers. That goes for both of you. A serious landing hits the store about front. We can't cut the letters right now, unfortunately. Maybe we'll keep that in mind the next time we come around. It'll show you a serious tour. Of a certain military base or bases. Ain't that nice? Excellent. Carrying on to the Bible. After all, I'm not afraid to grab a royal belly by the ear. Watch this, Joe. So there's layers everywhere. Here in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, United States. Carry on. I'm going to turn to the Bible. I'm going to turn to Matthew 28 1 through 20. what we'll be reading. If this is the first time you gazed upon a holy Bible book, the holy book that's also what people keep in their homes, it helps them stay safe, helps them feel not so alone in the world. After all, remember what I said? Who do we turn to when we feel a despair, loss, we need a hope, faith, love, everything else? Hmm? We turn to Allah, God. He's called by many names, yes? Excellent. Matthew 28-1 through 20. After the Sabbath had dawn, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake for an angel of the Lord. Come, came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The God were, gods were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he has said. Come and see the place where he lay, then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, and afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. While the women were on their way, some of them, some of the guards went into the city and reported to the chief priests everything that had happened. When the chief priests had met with the others and devised a plan, they gave the soldiers a large sum. Of money telling them you are to say his disciples came during the night and stole him away while we were asleep if this report gets to the governor we will satisfy satisfy him and keep you out of trouble so the soldiers took the money and did it as they were instructed and this story had been widely circulated amongst the jews this very day then the eleven disciples went to galilee to the mountain where jesus had told them to go when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Amen. God be with all of you who pass the word of the Holy God of God. In one name and one thing, fearing no one, not even ignorance, looking at ignorance in the face, with a grin. I speak the word of God. I defend the poor, the sick, and the needy. I defend the helpless. I fend off ignorance 
regardless of race, culture, creed, where I come from. As I said before, we must all remember where we come from, who we are, and our roots, where we started, those that helped us get this far, our friends, God, are, are most important. Reading on. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain which Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, again baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. <clears throat> Psalm 34-11-22 through 22. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of, lo of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn the from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears attentive to their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all of their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and saves those who are crushed in spirit. A righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from all of them. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeemed his servants. No one will be condemned to take refuge in him. Let me hold up what I just read to you. God bless you all over the world reading this. Direct. Can't get any better than that. One who has God in him is surely someone worth listening to, somebody who's not afraid of nobody and treats everybody with dignity and respect, regardless of what job you do or what career you have or what you own. Non-material things do not impress me much. I could be content sitting in a wooden chair. I've been to millionaire homes. Those things do not impress me. What comes out of your heart is what impresses me most. Because that's the first thing I'd look at, gazing upon you. I can tell friend from someone you wouldn't trust with a potato gun. God bless you all, all over the world. Especially those in Russia, yeah? Helping NASA out. Oh, I mean, Mr. President, Premier President Putin smile. Mr. Bird Watcher, trying to bring back the birds, yes? Glad I don't feel so alone over here. Interesting, keeping the bridges of friendship open. And everybody else in Europe, Rome will always be Rome. They say the same thing about Jerusalem, Israel, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, all you friends, all cultures, all races. It drives women nuts trying to figure me out. I tease them. Maybe I should be more quiet. Going on. Sometimes with a Hershey bar, it makes it an amazing screensaver. Me go get ice cream at three to work versus my Xbox. Okay. Place the plot ahead for a bachelor, Dad. Hmm. I'll sit there and eat the Hershey bar in front of you while you throw your little hissy fit. Bring it on. Better rip. Where's the Diablo, Halo, everybody else? Better be a darn good reason. James Bond, Notting Hill, the notebook can't have all the fun. That's what I'm getting at. 
Interesting. That's also what I was reading at the beer cut for not. Other than working out at the gym, huh? Hang on. What I just read a minute ago. Right. Oh. Psalm 34 dash 11 through 3. Through 22. Dahlia. Yeah. Also, thank you, Tennessee PD and everybody else who looks out for my neighborhood here at Elizabethtown and keeps the latest scam artists, offenders, the works, people who hurt and harass people, prey upon people, people who like harassing, say, friends, too, in their homes and places, and so forth, etc., etc., as child school as this is. First one to defend off people who prey upon military families and keep everybody safe around here, including the fire department, those in the NYPD, FDNY since 9-11, God bless you all. Out there, city mayor, everybody, all over Denver, Colorado, Fort Collins, God bless every Fort Drum, Hickam Air Force Base, the works. You know, after one for most military, nothing would ever be possible, not even this right here. You remember that, even while watching a Yankees baseball game. I've been to the Yankees stadium. You all need to do your homework. I'm telling. Carry on. Same kind of soldier who was so squared away he drove tanks for a long, long time. My serious squared away instructor. Who told you I never drove a tank? You thought it was just furry and Brad Pitt by himself. Are you kidding me? I had to tell him to do your homework. You women thought you had it all figured out. Someone's not afraid to go adventuring in a piece of metal that's one five tons. Interesting on horseback riding. Golly. Kentucky women thought they were alone. Oh, supporting Abraham Lincoln right down to your horse ranch. Don't that just bring that Southern Bell hospitality out? Obviously, he cares about everybody. Or he wouldn't be carrying a $5 Abraham Lincoln in his wallet. Gee whiz. Don't you just love me? I love you, damsels, especially you Southern Bells. Who are staring at me right from the old great big ranch? Whose grandparents or parents are about to ask me the same question? Why are you single again? Why are you with that rascal when you could have been with this guy with a big old home and a fireplace in Elizabeth Town? What's really going on? God 
believe Dolly Parton and everybody else around here who visit. Hang on. Also, those on you on pause, do check out Bar Library. They always got something going on. And on August, excuse me, April for April 2nd and 3rd, we have Lights Off at Night at Protestant Main Chapel on Post Baptist Pet Church. Not going wrong now. The Main Chapel that I attend church in, out of, out of, out of many churches. Can't go wrong. Here at Fort Knox, Main Post Chapel. 10.45 a.m. Mass every Sunday. Big old building. Can't miss it. It's right across from the library. Marvelous occasions. Okay, but it does get around. Don't get me wrong. I've been to Campbell and back already several times, even before Colonel Dillinger and General Valesky, who have a smiling face right now after seeing that big old welcome flyer. Flies aboard this nice little screen. Thank you for flying U.S. Care Bear Care. Hope your trade tables are in the upper left position. And you'll all land it safely into those that love you. I wish I could have been there. I would have took a ton of photos. Perhaps a welcoming get-together here at Saber Quill or something like that. All of you, the whole division, would make matters much more morale-supporting. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, I know right here in the front lawn. The whole dang division. Fudge cake, kids. Meet the parents, can't have all the fun. It would make the neighborhood talk for you. Would not be nice? Schneid. World War II can't have it all. God bless them. And I just march down the main street on hell. That would be amazing. But like I said, I'll leave it to your hands. Main Post Chapel is host a traditional Protestant congregation. They're very active personally meaning the needs of not only our members, but also those around us in our military community. We would love for you to join us weekly as regular members or those visiting. You can also go to their main website online, Main Post Protestant Chapel. And that's their nice little welcoming brochure for those first time arriving. Stand up in the little mass. Hi, you are you people new? That's what the pastor will ask. We're at preacher. God bless them too over there. Okay, Bear sometimes shows up in the middle of the night reading Omar Bradley. I told you last weekend. Out of me. And helps for you kids and nice little coloring book. That helps pass the time in church. God bless them. Like I said, they have all kinds of things. I'll show this close to you for those here at Fort Knox. Those of you off post, here at Elizabethtown, there's St. James. St. James here in Elizabethtown, the Catholic Church. They have Mass at noon, 9 and 11. God bless them. Excuse me, eight. Eight, nine, and eleven. Excuse me, not eleven thirty around there, so you'll be on time. Ta da! They always need people on post for those arriving, greeters, ushers. Keeping those doors employed and open like every other church in the world. I do a lot keeping people employed and I don't ask very much. And that for more information, times and show times, dates and everything else, check out again their main chapel website, Fornos Traditional Protestant Service dot com. That is the address for those of you who can't get anywhere without GPS. Notice I did help you on that one. Some siblings can't find their way around a barn. I'm gonna mention no names. Some think NASCAR is easy because y'all drive too fast. Maybe you just slow down. 
A certain brother of mine, the brothers from different mom, would tell you that's your face. We the baby, if you just slow down, being the passenger, side driver, you would find things a lot faster. I feel for the ones like me who have to stay straight. Straight, straight, left, left, left. Private left. That left, right, left, 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 marching. I see left. That's why are you questioning somebody who's been here longer than you? How about that one? I feel for the one who has five sisters. Trying to explain a military installation. And followed by, hey, well maybe we should go back to Green Barrett, John Way, where y'all use a compass. And find your way to Burger King. We'll meet up at 1800. How about that? Which would you rather have? Me helping you out? Or... Okay, that's what I thought. Quick, fast, learn a hard way. Communication is very important. And this is St. James Catholic Church. For those of you here in Elizabeth Town, marvelous. That's their show times. God bless them and keep them going too. Keep in mind, for those of you with children like myself, having a son, that might be a recommendation. First time for infants. Call 270-765-6268 for baptism time. They are very friendly. They are a family-run church. After all, that's the meaning of church. A family as a whole under God. <clears throat> That's their website right there. Right here in Elizabeth Town, E Town for short. Eight AM, ten AM, twelve, fifteen, and five PM on weekends. Sunday, especially Saturday, 5 p.m. And I don't even know where if I wasn't here on Saturday evening, where was I? I was at church. That's right. You thought I forgot about Bible study on Saturday at 7. I said three hours of give or take could be no rush. You could be arriving at 10. Some of you live four hours away. There's no late tardiness here. That's not what I'm about. You should know better by now. Arriving safely is better than not arriving at all. Some of you are raised that way. You're not the only one. I'm Italian, French, Canadian, and everything else. God name me. Irish, you name it. I don't just support rock music. Playboy Magazine, Maximum.com, Sports Illustrated, UFC, WWF, and everything else I watch. Even the Friends show, God bless them all. We've been on for years. <clears throat> Moving right along. Here at my home. <clears throat> and again, welcome home, honey and frost. Parenting and chastity. How to talk to kids about chastity and the sacredness of sex. Wednesday, monster calendars for parents, March 25th through 2015. 9 30 through 11 30 a.m. Pritchard Plus for those on base, building 4769. Ta da! Keeping everybody employed on post. Now I can tell you, oh, don't fall for the budget cut system. Empty buildings, not good ideas. Last thing we need is someone walking through. Hey, why don't we close the whole base because that airport is empty. There's no A-10 right there. 
It's an empty airport. Why not? Mad person general foaming at the mouth. Wait a minute. We have helicopters along the way, y'all. Yeah? Oh, wait, that was a Hercules that just flew by, F-15. Yeah, we even got an air show coming. Don't close it down. We're a busy, squared away airport base. It's delicious. Always busy. Heck, there's a cadre not far away. There's no empty buildings here, except for the ones deployed. My bad. How about, how about, imagine that's all in two seconds of sitting in a big chair in front of Congress. That would probably be the first thing after coffee, I would say. Interesting, is it not? The port and folks over here? For years. What do you think they come, soldiers come get when they're in trouble? Uniform not iron, inspection day? Uh-oh. I hate, that's an E-6. That's your platoon, son. You all thought you could do this. Stay awake. Champagne Care Bear Cares record. Wrong. Good luck with that one. Nost in five hours. No good for you. I know a command you again who can run on eight miles with a rucksack, okay? He makes most people look easy. Who's it there? Grit at you. Good luck with that one. Where do you think I learned it from? You thought I was just beating the Bailey comic? Garfield, Walt Disney, Transformers. I miss those days. They still have the content on. They get it. They should keep it running. Also, Louisville. Why should you become a Columbus Knight? How about that one? <clears throat> Ever thought about it? For those who are guys, you never know. Knights of the Columbus. For more information, you can write these address. Ta-da! I'm going to that website. There you go. Interesting, is it not? All kinds of organizations I support. Not just these ones. Uh uh. Carrying on. Also, this kind of our church. For more information, Arch Abbey Guest House in the Retreat Center, Tomorrow Hill Drive, St. Murad, Indiana. God bless him. And that's the address. Reading along, I thought I'd go through the examples. Remember, you have to understand the meaning behind each example, each passage I just read. The rebirth of Jesus Christ, very important month of April coming up. You must understand these meanings. If you don't know and understand the meaning behind the passage, the reading in the book, don't be afraid to go to your nearest pastor, Christian slash Muslim slash understand your language translation yes they would be happy at a church to help you there's no shame in asking for help i know emperors kings princesses queens that aren't ashamed to ask for instruction and help in these matters if they can do it so can you even those who start in the kingdom of heaven honor the honor good god bless all of you in Jerusalem, Israel, everyone. Especially those in Europe, Egypt, Rome, Canada, the US, the world, Alaska, South Pole, Hawaii, California, Florida, everybody. Turkey. Portugal, Chile, Brazil, God bless y'all, Mexico, New Mexico. A favorite of mine, uh -uh. 
From time to time, we read, as I read to you, from time to time, we read of people, this is an experience that someone went through while reading the Bible as me, yeah? From time to time, we read of people, this is what they learned in life. We read of people who are offended at not being treated with what they consider due respect and indifference. Do you know who I am? Questioning themselves as they question those around them. They shout indignantly, and we reminded of that statement. If you have to tell people who you are, probably really aren't who you think you are. The polar opposite of this ignorance and self-importance is seen in Jesus, even as his life on earth was nearing its end. Jesus entered Jerusalem to shout the praise from the people. Matthew 21-7-9 through 9 writes, as you read in the Bible, turning to that area, Matthew 21, dash 7 through 9. When the others throughout the city asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth of Galilee. He didn't come claiming special privileges, but in humility he came to give his life in obedience to his Father's will. The word Jesus. He did commanded respect and life insecure. Rulers, he never demanded that the others respect him his greatest hours of suffering. <clears throat> suffering appeared to be his lowest point of weakness and failure, yet the strength of his identity and mission carried Jesus through the darkest hours, then he died for our sins so that we might live in his love. His love, he is worthy of our lives, our devotion today. Do we recognize who he is? Questioning yourself. Lord, I am the all of your humility. But when you pray, day and night and love, remember this part is a very good saying. Yes, even in front of those you care about, your family, your friends. Lord, I am the all of your humility, strength and love. And I am embarrassed by my desires for self-importance. May knowing you change every self-centered motive in my heart and longing to live as you did in this world. May God watch over you, your families, those that need it, hope, faith, love, and everything else bestowed upon you by God himself, that you pass on these daily teachings to others in need of it, any kind of, some kind of hope, some kind of spark in their life. Someone who cares for the whole world and lights up the whole world in the palm of his hand right here before you. There are many diehard followers. Some pray at night in front of me, sleeping day and night, praying real hard for better days ahead. You thought you were alone? Even while I sleep, I make sure God hears those prayers. Rest assured, your prayers did not go unanswered. He heard you up there. I make sure of it. Or I won't wake up till he does. That's how hardcore caring I really am for you especially those with children, those who wish they had parents, same thing. I make sure God hears your prayers day and night, especially those in India, Slumdog Millionaire Show, and everybody else. Let's be good, God bless her, and everybody there, staring me down. God bless you all, do come by sometime, yeah? For a man of good God in him, of all races, all cultures. Like I said before, the other video a while ago, would it matter if I was dressed in India clothes, covered from head to foot, Muslim, Israel, would I still practice the same religion, even including yours? Or speak Cantonese and still read your Bible and remind at the same time, would it make any difference in God's eyes? I think so. A man of all religions is someone who is worthy of knowing, someone wanting to be a friend to, even someone living next door to. It makes people feel safe, yes? A sense of belonging, a sense of want. Not so lonely no more, yes, listening to this video. Here in the comforts of my humble home, a house of God, where people are caring, people who are welcome here. Of course, I have to be away. Those who visit, I have to be awake and I have to be present. 
much dubs down in Lamzu. God bless you all. It's understandable some of you are trying to keep out of public eye. That is one thing. It is another if you stand for what is right. Nothing so real, kill by kill. Besides, a lot of friends aren't afraid to ring the doorbell. You're better off reading in the evening. Like dusk, it seems somewhere I'm now. <clears throat> As I said before, I'm not a morning person. Some threat neighbors will tell you that. After being away on business, it's a beautiful day. After being away on business, Terry wanted to pick up some small gifts for his children. He writes, The clerk at the airport gift shop recommended a number of cost guidance. I don't have that much money with me, he said. I need something less expensive. The clerk tried to make him feel that he was being cheap, but Terry knew his children would be happy with whatever he gave them. Because it came from a heart of love, and he was right. They loved the gifts he brought them. During Jesus' last visit to the town of Bethany, Mary wanted to show her love for him. Mark 14 3 through 9 in the Bible, if you, if you turn to that area. So she brought an alpha blaster flask of very costly oil, spiknard, and anointed him. The disciples asked him, like, Why this way? Matthew 26 through 8. 26 through 8. Jesus told them to stop traveling her for her. She had done a good work for me. Another translation reads, She has done a beautiful thing to me. Jesus delighted in her gift, for it came from a heart of love. Even anointing him for burial was beautiful. What would you like to give to Jesus to show your love? Questioning yourself. Your time, talent, treasure, it doesn't matter if it's cost or expense, inexpensive, whether others understand or criticize. Whatever is given from a heart of love is beautiful to him. Nothing I could give you, Father, would repay you for your sacrifices, but I want to give you what you think is beautiful. I give you my heart and today in thankfulness for your love, your guidance, your inspiration. As one prays day and night, may God watch over me, strengthen me with your never-ending wisdom and love and guidance. Yes, all languages, all cultures, especially all of you up there in this nice NASA space station. Helping you all stay mentally sound for months to come. Marvelous with that big old trusty satellite below. Relays my nice little website all over the world. Wouldn't that be nice? I've been collecting space dust. Star Trek can't have all the fun. I'll have it. God bless them too. The original cast, Kirk, Douglas McCoy, Leonard Nimoy, and everybody else. Card, his crew, and everybody else. Battlestar Galactica, them too. Also, the Walking Dead show, them too as well. They bring out the best info they bring out. Not just video games, they bring out themselves, going good versus everything else. Watching their show, God bless them. They thought they were alone, sleeping in the nice little cozy beds in the forest. Oh. And samurai sword will tell you so far, dude. Well, I see acts in that nice show on TV on Sundays. On AMC. God bless her. Oh, um. But yeah, I'm ready to get a bunch of cakes up there. Anything answers to your prayers anyway while in the rain. <sighs> That's right. He thought Jamaicans would tell you that to your face while watching Pirates of the Caribbean. Spider Man, maybe. <clears throat> Grandma all knows up there. She's all knows all. And she makes sure I hear about it when I wake up. Caught psychic, what have you, gifted. So hard. Knows when someone's coming and when they're leaving or passing through the airport of the airport. Your very answer to Sam McMay. Keep an eye out for him all. Will do. It's a gift. God bless the world. In the interest of peace. <clears throat> Another favorite of mine. God's clock. Always in a rush. I was in a hurry. 
This guy looks like he has a cloth deal or goes on vacation, but you know. You may look at your cloth because you're too busy trying to better your life. But at the same time, God, love and devotion to you is everlasting. There is no cloth for him. No vacation. I tell most people, me on vacation, that's a good one. That's really funny up there. I hang on that big old cross for us all. Oh wait, I took over where he left off before he was put up there. Hmm, interesting. A guy who can take a beating and still stand for me and my son in the world. For all children. To end the suffering of all, indeed, yes. Bonjour, French over there. Especially a certain brave heart actress who played the French queen. Mademoiselle. You all thought you were alone over there in that nice big castle. You might want to rethink that. You're never alone. I'm standing next to you. Looking at that nice long hill of yours. You don't just watch this on the main street. Me, her too. Standing next to her body, Miss Burnett. Interesting. Actors, God bless me. She is crippled. God plot. Visit your elderly women. From time to time, one has no financial worries. Is fit for her age and lives in her own home. But she can always find something negative to say. The other is crippled with arthritis and rather forgetful. She lives in simple accommodations and keeps a reminder. Perhaps so she won't forget her appointments, but to ever visit her to her tiny apartment. Her first comment is always the same. God is so good to me. Handing her the reminder pad on my last visit. I know that she had written the day before out to lunch tomorrow. Wonderful, another happy day. I know it was a prophet at the time of Jesus' birth and her circumstances were hard. Luke 2 36 37. Widowed early and possibly childish, she may have felt purposeless and disdued, but her focus was on God and theory. And she was here to put up a side, but at least time she was busy about God, business, praying, plastic, and teaching others all that she had learned from him. Finally, the day arrived when she bowed her ears to all the infant Messiah in his young mother's arms. All her patient waiting was worthwhile, her heart sang with joy, and she praised God, and then passed the glad news on to others. Lord, I don't want to be a complainer anymore. This person writes, I want to be a person who overflows with thankfulness. For others and for you, may I accept whatever you give me in your time. Show me how to start today. If you awaken in the morning, know that you are blessed. Blessed because you are alive. God gave you life. Don't end it thinking no one cares. You are greatly mistaken. If I didn't care about you, I wouldn't be trying so hard to save your life in need of saving, as God would have it himself. To all of Jerusalem, Jerusalem where Jerusalem became Jerusalem, the history of Jerusalem, all of them. Even the museums of Egypt and everybody else, the little people that make things interesting more, to study history, even backwards in life. History is what makes the future better, not worse. They say the same thing for science. Science should be, as I said myself, should be embraced, not feared. People want to see what's out there, looking through a telescope at these stars. Mars, Earth too. Up next, another planet. Interesting how far Star Trek and everybody else has gotten where we are now. Science exploration taught in schools. People want to know what's out there. Galileo and everybody else that started and discovered the world was round can have all the fun. God bless these scientists and those around the world today. Scientist myself, a philosopher, entrepreneur, ambassador of peace. This is what I just read. I'll hold it for you. Ta da! Because the saying, the meaning behind it is very true. From those passages in the Bible, Luke 2-25-52, through 52, and Joshua 19-21. through 21. 
Those this this person writes on based on those two passages. Uh, goes without saying again, he left Pritchard in the main chapel. There are always things happening, keep stay tuned. I always help you inform you here at Fort Knox. CWC is on post. St. James has their Bible study too, so keep stay tuned. Louisville, I keep them going as well. Louisville's Catholic Downtown Church. God bless all of them on air mass. I stay tuned every Sunday. God bless you all. Follow by watching the nice, amazing wildlife reservation. God bless them Australians over there showing people the fine points of running a zoo. It's not an easy job. Crikey. God bless them over there. And everybody else, especially those in Africa, all over the world. Kenya, Cape Town, you name it. Also, don't forget Easter for the kids. As you can see, for somebody who goes on base, for a single dad, he supports a lot of folks. Up next, military morale support. God bless you all, all over the world. Remember to stay positive. In nome de Padre, Mune, Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God be with you all over the world, especially your mom's return. After all, in the eyes of a child, mom is gone. They say the same thing for dad. Enlighten your children. Don't sit there and hurt them or blame them for having a bad day. That is not what they need. They need education, tuition, school. They need to stay in school. They are not your boxing bag for having a bad day at work or on a farm. Do not blame them. Blame yourselves for not knowing better. Take your frustrations out at the gym, not on them, not on your family, not at a bar. There always comes some kind of new activity you can join in, even volunteer in your town. Learn a new trade. Read a book. Go to a library, bookstore, then come home. Always wanting to learn new things, yes? Better oneself in the hearts and souls. Remember, there are no easy roads in life. These hands could be heavier. Yet, a man as capable as me with courage and dignity and respect, one rock can move the world, even a mountain. This hand is somebody who almost chose the wrong path in life, like a train track. A path you cannot follow, even as a friend. It sometimes makes you cry hard and you must pray for them. You cannot follow that path because it is a path that leads into what? Ignorance. You must pray that they better themselves, whether it's a bad habit trying to quit from smoking or doing something that's not nice. You must pray they change their ways, because sooner or later that lit path ends up being criminal path, and that's a path you don't want. Come from experience, people I care for pray for that they better themselves. Life is a stepping stone. You learn from your own mistakes. Nobody's perfect. I mean me. I made mistakes yet. I'm mad enough to share them with you, to experience such experiences, go far in life, that is a friend, someone who gives his own advice, cares for you out of sheer heart. From my heart to you, here at home in Elizabethtown, to send letters of love and devotion and affection, even try to figure out how to move here. You can send your letter, love letters and affection or friendship, even those squared away mates, brothers from a different mom. Send your letters, posts, 
signaturize the text or sometimes if you're even more screwed away have a friend deliver it for you in person to make sure I got it that way it doesn't get stolen some benefactors are finding out this the hard way correspondents they'll sit there and look at you sternly I did not give that free meal to you to steal from him I gave it out of sheer heart sweat and everything else they'll look at you sternly because they already know the answer I gave that letter to him, not to you. After watching this history, the movie Kingdom of Heaven don't understand this meaning. It's the principle of it all. Right? It's better than wrong. Then send your letters to my home, 328 Helm Street, Elizabeth Town, Kentucky, 42701. Or, you can reach me on Facebook. Just look up my name. God bless you. Directly. Y'all stay warm out there, stay positive, especially all you military installations in my heart, flares, and everything else. Much love, stay at home.